I will explain here how Pergeos can segment and separate the grains of a 40 GB dataset using only a few amount of memory. Let's first create a recipe based on a few slices of the volume. This custom recipe will be responsible to segment the grains with a marker-based watershed by marking two phases with thresholding and enhancing the intergranular space with a blacktop hat. Finally, a separate object step using a chamfer distance map will separate all touching grains. You can notice here how all grains have been separated into individuals. Let's now save a new recipe in order to keep trace of all parameters after having removed the extract subvolume step. In the Explore workspace, the binarization by slab module will be responsible to segment and separate the whole data with the saved recipe. The overlap size is quite high because we must ensure a grain is not split between two consecutive slabs. The overlapping method needs to be set to split because there is a separation step. It is then possible to check the results on the entire plug. We have here a binary data that still needs to be labelized by labeling by slab. Now, all grains have a unique ID and we could proceed with the analysis of their size, sphericity or orientation. Connecting a volume rendering gives you an idea of the total number of grains, more than 165,000.